Welcome back to another team profile and projection. This one is on the Cincinnati Reds. You guys voted them as the third worst team in baseball. They lost 100 games last year. Got off to one of the more historically bad starts. And didn't get much better. Got better for like a month and then not much better. Jake, is there more hope or less hope? What did they change about their roster? And these TPPs are brought to you by SeatGeek. Code talking $20 off your first order with SeatGeek. They added a couple catchers, which is important to this. Uh, Luke popped a melee. He's sweating. Trev and Teddy's Kirk Casale. Their big signing, they brought in Will Myers. How about it? Went from partying in the streets of San Diego to partying in the streets. Of Cincinnati, Luke Weaver's there too. Nick Solak, he's got a, a silver pedal in his bag. He goes up there. Kevin Newman, he'll be up the middle. Some minor league guys. Who they lost? Jimmy's Aristides Aquino. He will go to Punisher. Japan. He will break records over there. Kyle Farmer's on those twins. He keeps getting usurped by that damn Correa guy. Uh, and Colin Moran, a couple other guys, Mike Miner, Malibu, Mike Moustakis, he's out. Donnie Barrels, a couple relievers, Chase Anderson. That's who's in. That's who's out. Trev, can you take me through that Reds lineup? Great place to hit, babe. Great place to hit. Just saw Malibu Mike at Erewhon, the grocery store out here. He's looking good. He's working out. I'm not sure where he's in a sign. He said we'd have the scoop, though. Uh, left field, TJ Friedel. I believe that's how you say the name. He'll be perusing out there. Our guy, Jonathan India, hot boy at second base. He just got, sh uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He was not on MLB Network's top second baseman, top 10 second baseman. I think I might have a bone to pick with them on that one. Joey Vado, we know, uh, could be his last season. He'll be at first base, DH for them. Tyler Stevenson catching, but might be moving around a little bit this year to keep him healthy. He's had a Really nice start to his career. I got a lot of his baseball cards. Will Myers, as you mentioned, will be playing some outfield. Jake Fraley, he's a left-hander. He might be dh uh, At third base, we have listed a Spencer Steer. Kevin Newman comes over from the Pirates, as you mentioned. Uh, he'll be at shortstop. And then Nick Senzel in center field. We have two catchers on the bench. In the Papa, Papa Molly, Mailey, Mailey, he's sweating. My guy, Kurt Casale, Alejo Lopez, he's a switch hitter, infielder, and then Stuart Fairchild will be also in the outfield. James, I think this is kind of the bright spot of this team. Let's talk about that rotation. Yeah, you got Hunter Green, who's flash and fun, Nick Lodolo, Ashcraft. He had some uh, nice stretches last year, didn't he? Didn't he yeah. start off hot? Luke Weaver, Luis Sessa. That's the bright spot, I guess. I don't – some flash there. It's the two top guys. They're young guys. Yeah. They finished the year really strong. Uh, in the bullpen, I don't know, any huge names here? Diaz, Sims, Antone, Reaver? Diaz, Diaz kind of the guy. Reaver, Sam Martin? San Martin, fun name. San Martin, small fall, small fall. Bunk, Buck Farmer, always fun. Our guy TJ Antone, back. I think he had a TJ year, right? Yeah. Hot. Well, this is a team whose owner just keeps saying dumb stuff. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I'll Did you hear what one. he said recently? Like like opening day last year, he pissed everyone off. Recently, he was doing a, a talk to a Reds group, just like Kevin Mather was for Seattle. And he said that the Reds are basically a nonprofit. Yeah. All right. I don't think that's the case. Um, but yeah, I, I agree. He said this it's run like the they press. said they, stop. they run they run it like a nonprofit. And that the goal in 2022 was progress. So don't lose 100 games again. That's their goal. I mean, they're smack dab in the middle of a rebuild. You can go back just a couple of years, uh, 2020 there. I think they were in the playoffs. 2021, they were flirting with the playoffs. And then they decided to just trade everybody. And they got rid of everybody. And now, yeah, I mean, they're they're in a rebuild. They have some good players here on this roster that they hope can be there when, you know, their window opens up. Uh, but right now, it's you got a couple guys on the team you want to watch. There are some, I think, 
potential stars on this team. Now, Hunter Green is is a guy that is electric and can be electric. Lodolo had a really nice year last year in his first year. That's why I said that's kind of the bright spot on this team. And then, yeah, some of those guys in the lineup, Stevenson and in India, obviously we know about Vado. Uh, there could be some fun players to watch, but it's going to be, um, you know, if you're a Reds fan, you understand it's, it's, it's going to be a tough year for you. They... You mentioned the big starters, and you you lean into that. You know, Hunter Green has the chance to be special, right? Like, rare arm talent. He's putting up triple digits that you don't see from a starting pitcher. Lodolo, people love, man. I I think it's a funky lefty arm angle. It's tough to pick up. I mean, a a big righty and lefty to start the staff, that's awesome. And even we'll see what Graham Ashcraft can become. But like Jim said, we we talked about him a decent amount last year. He he put together some days. So if you can have three young starters – it's going to be when the Reds reset. This is the last year of Malibu Mike's contract. I, I know he's, he's off the team, but the, the money will reset. Uh, this could potentially be Joey Votto's last year as a Cincinnati Red. He's going to have a team option for next year. That if, if those guys can take the next step as a starting pitcher, if they can have something develop from the lineup. Nick Senzel's a prospect we've talked about for years. He's had a lot of injuries. If Spencer Steer gets a full run at third base and he can put something together, he was in the Tyler Molly trade, um, and he's going to get run at the hot corner. And Tyler Stevenson and Jonathan India are the two guys you got to circle for me. India had a, a step back last year, a little bit of a sophomore slump, really slow start, started going a little bit, I believe. And then Tyler Stevenson, his stats are silly. He's, he's a little Looney Tunes when he's on the field, but the injury bug has been the deal with him, so they're going to... I think they're going to mess around with him a little bit to try to get him away from catching full time with some first base and DH, and that's why those other backstops are there. He's good. He's like one of the better hitting catchers, yeah. and get him off the catcher position if that's how you keep the bat going. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the Zips projections for this team, like they like uh, Steer and two other prospects to put up the most, the best numbers besides anyone that has like more than a month MLB experience. They were like they, they steer got, a lot. Yeah. And they got a real deal prospect coming up in this De La Cruz kid. He's like a shortstop third baseman switch hitter. And he's got a pretty swing and it's kind of similar from both sides, uh, which is you don't, you kind of always see one side looks a little bit better than the other with these switch hitters. He's got a pretty swing on both sides of the ball. I think he'll get a little bit of run hopefully in 2023 and then, you know, you're looking at a, a fun little infield there. So this is, um, you know, I guess the beginning of maybe you're going to start to see some of these guys come up and see what the future may hold for the Reds. Uh, but, you know, I'm assuming because the owner says silly things, I'm assuming they're probably going to keep these guys down to have that extra year of control as well. Yeah. Yeah. Jim. Almost doesn't matter, but something that'll excite you a little bit. Austin Romine, non-roster invite. Hey, more catchers. Get him in. Like this kid, Is Matt Stevenson McClain. just out now. <laughs> like he's not catching anymore because there's a lot of catchers they brought in. <laughs> I think that's <laughs> yeah. might be the goal with the DH and availability. They also invited this kid, Matt McClain, to shortstop. Zips loves him. Projections like him. It could be an area they're floating everyone. Uh, he was their top pick last year, so kind of. Flying through, they invited him to Major League Camp. Wow. And Zips has him as the second best hitter over the year for them. So it's kind of a weird, weird, it's kind of a funky projection when you look at it that the top three are guys that like aren't, may not get big league time unless, but if they do, those guys love them. And I, De La Cruz's numbers last year are silly. In the minor leagues, 304, he had 28 homers and 47 stolen bases i mean that's like that's star type stuff so like let's get this guy up let's see what we got and noel v Marte was the big piece they got in the luis castillo trade he's been playing shortstop we'll see if he stays there that i think a couple of those might be a year or two down the road but if you're a reds fan they got to be in your head because that's that's your sign of hope um man i i don't know I don't know. It, it's it's crazy that the Reds are down here. It feels like, you know, it, when when talking baseball was coming to life, we had one one year of Reds hope. They they made the weird 2020 playoffs. They played in 
One of the least favorite playoff games ever played between those Reds and those Braves. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm hoping for Reds fans that, that they get something that I'm not seeing because it's, uh, it's tough, man. It's tough. They can be a fun trade deadline team. Yeah, I mean, I mean maybe, maybe Reds fans want to go see, see Votto go uh, chase down a, a championship somewhere else. Like Orioles fans are rooting for Mancini to go get him, yeah. go, go win. And then got it. Because Votto had uh, two really good months last year where he kind of s- talked about changing his approach, swinging bigger. It'd be That would be what I'd be rooting for is let's have, if this is his last season, have him have some fun and and then get traded and, and be a playoff persona and a and, uh, fun guy. Joey Votto. Fun guy. Fun guy. Will Myers also can be traded, but that's not all. I mean, they got a lot of catchers. Those guys always get traded at the deadline. That might happen. I got, like, not a lot in this Reds team. Uh, yeah, I mean, I agree with you. Like, Votto, go check him out. If this is going to be his last year, like, go see this guy play. He's been an incredible player. You, you know what he's meant to the organization. And to baseball as well. Like, he's been one of the premier hitters in baseball for a long time. He's played 15 freaking years in the show. I remember Joey when I first came up, but we were doing some instructional league together. Mm. And he just took off. And he's a character. Go check him out on some of the uh, – our podcast, Rose Rotation, he was just on, and he was on with the Compound as well. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think I'm interested. Obviously, we mentioned the young guys with a team like this. That's what you're going to lean into. I think, you know, between like a Lucas Sims and an Antone in the bullpen, uh, if Will Myers can have a good first half, which he'll be in a hitter's ballpark, so he might be able to put something up. Um, like you guys have mentioned with Votto. And Frito and Jake Fraley, they put together – solid years for the Reds last year, and we know this as Yankee fans, finding lefties that can play the corner outfield, not as easy as you'd think. So if those guys can find something, they could potentially be an asset for them, which feels like a Reds team, which probably has some eyes on a different prize. And it's, I think it's so funny trying to get into the vibe of a city. The Bengals have just had this massive resurgence. Joe Burrow, it's as good as it gets on a football level. (laughs) The Reds, opposite right now uh you know we had rumors of a person pooping in a truck last year oh i remember that one yeah did it happen no i don't think there was any poop they threatened the poop maybe they buried it maybe it did happen and they you know big brother hid it from us truck had a shovel in it i mean here's an interesting Stat for you. Okay. Great American ballpark, small, one of the biggest, uh, one of the bigger park factor ballparks out there. Most home runs in the regular season last year. Great American ballpark. Second, American Family Field. So go America. Wow. Third, Yankee Stadium. Yankee, Amer- Americans America. are called gangs. So we got something going on. I like Great that. American ballpark, most home runs in the regular season last year. Cool. Where did the Reds rank? Oh, the homers, no. mm. 19th out of 30. Well, that means. That's not good. What does it mean, Jake? <laughs> that it means not only are their hitters not good at hitting home runs, their pitchers are good at giving them up. Yeah. Yes. It means that they're one of their biggest advantages is being used against them. Well, their starting pitchers, yes. We're 29th in the league in homers per nine. So, yes. Yeah. Not Great. I'm assuming, I think we went over this. Maybe the Nationals might have been the only other team uh, below them. Man, I, uh, a little bit of divisional stuff before we get there, and I'm going to kind of tee it up for you guys where I'm standing. I think our Pirates got better this offseason. We're going to get to them. I think the Cubbies got better this offseason. The Brewers retooled, and you just believe in them as a team, and the Cardinals are one of the best-run franchises in sports. I don't like where the Reds are sitting after a 62 and 100 season. I I think I think the rest of the division had a little bump and Jim you mentioned the schedule now changing to everyone plays everyone. Yeah. <laughs> For the yeah. NL Central, I think that's even that might be worse news. Yeah, that's not good. So I'm not drinking the Reds Kool-Aid. I'm uh, I'm also not drinking the Kool-Aid, but I'm looking at the Kool-Aid. I'm like, hey, like there's maybe a few flavors I might want to try, but just not yet. 
I'm going to see what other people let them taste it first before I dive in. I think that's where I'm at with the Reds. Smart. Smart. I'm rooting for them. Maybe I wouldn't buy the actual Kool Aid. I might go off brand. It's kind of like uh, there's a show out there. You're like, you know what? If that gets rave reviews after five apps, I'll tune in. Right. But no way I'm doing it on my own accord because I, I don't think it looks up to snuff. Like Hunter Green or Nick Lodolo has like three straight scoreless starts. You're like, oh, this, that sounds nice. Otherwise. What's their over under? I don't know if it's too soon, but. 63 and a half. I'm taking the under. Oh, wow. under. Okay. Yeah. Well, the problem with all these over unders, as we're talking about kind of the bottom of the barrel teams, is they all seem about right. Like 60 to 65 games seems about right. So you're kind of in a small little uh, area here. I got them. I'll also the, go under. Yeah. I got them or the Nats being the one or two 50 game winners this year. Yeah. I'm I higher mean, on the Nats than I am on the, the you Reds. You love them, Nats. Um, Thank you. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think this. And I think a lot of Red fans may agree. And, hey, you guys know your Reds better than us, so let us know. But I, uh, I think this has a chance to be our saddest TPP, uh, and I'm going with the under. Yeah. Gosh, I, I'm rooting for them. I'm rooting for them. Gosh. Gosh. Well, I'd like a lot of their players to, to have good seasons. But it, it definitely is a team where you're rooting for prospects to come up. You're rooting for bounce backs to happen, for careers to end. Nicely and just like the owner said, progress. And you hope it's fun. Progress. But you're not going to, not all of that's going to click and you're going to be hunting a division, I don't think. Happy to be wrong if I'm wrong. This, this is what I'll say for people in Cincinnati. Put your hand up like this, James. Come on. Let's hope that you guys are so hung over from your Super Bowl win that this mm. feels like a breeze to you. I think the Bengals are saving them. The Bengals were bad too. Oh, there's your hope. Yeah. yeah How would Joey be? Have Joe Burrow throw out every first pitch. Oh, good one. Maybe the last pitch, too. Okay. Right. Hey, that's that. Let us know what we didn't talk about. This, was a, this was a tough one. See ya. Go Reds. Thought I crushed it. Go Reds. Since A. Oh, the Reds. Bom, 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 bom.